In this video, we're gonna talk about the cage system that I use for my GH5 and GH5S. Hello YouTube, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new around here, my name is Ryan Timms and I'm a video creator based in North Carolina. Now I work mainly in the corporate video slash commercial space where I'm making videos for clients on paid projects. A lot of times I'm renting out larger bodies like a C300 or an FS7 or a RED depending on the job. But for some everyday work, these smaller camera systems get the job done and they can do it faster. So this is all of the gear that I myself own and then I rent larger bodies when the job calls for it. So today what I wanna to talk about is this modular cage system that I put together that works for both my GH5 and GH5S. Uh, I'm gonna go over the different parts and the different configurations that I have for this setup um, so that you guys can take a look and maybe be inspired to create something like this for your camera system. Okay, so we'll start off talking about the core of this system, which is the small rig half cage. Um, I know that they make this for other bodies, um, similar size to this, but this is the one for the GH5, GH5S. It houses the battery grip and camera, and it mounts from uh, one screw here on the bottom of the cage, and it allows you to kind of mount some accessories, and it comes with this rail block um, built in here to the back, so you can add rails and put some things on the back. This is sort of the base that everything is built around um, and helps me configure this the way that I want and be the most comfortable. What I like the most about this half cage is that it still gives me access to this grip on the side of the camera. Um, so this is very comfortable grip. I have you know normal size hands and um, all the controls are at the ready. I'm not blocking anything with a cage. Like some cages stick out here on the side and it makes it hard for you to reach in and get to these buttons. Everything here is accessible. Everything is quick and easy to get to and it fits nice and snug in my hand. And then the battery grip at the bottom just gives me extra stability at the bottom and it just makes this you know feel really comfortable um, so that's in my opinion why this cage was so appealing and it works for me better than some of the other cages in the market okay so I sort of took everything off here so you can kind of see what's going on this is the half cage from small rig I've attached a small NATO rail to the top and that's what I can use this top handle for. This top handle is designed for red cameras, um, but I think it works great because of these little notches that you can see here. Um, it sits very comfortably in my hand. Um, so oftentimes if I'm using this just short run and gun, this handle just clips into the NATO rail. It's one knob to tighten and boom, it's ready to go. This supports the whole cage and carries the whole camera. Next thing I usually attach is there's, you know, a cold shoe mount right here. This is just a Rode VideoMic Pro. Um, this is great just for capturing like natural sound, you know, B-roll stuff. It mounts right here comfortably on the side and it doesn't get in the way of anything else that I'm trying to do. So the next core component of this cage is the left wooden side grip from Small Rig. Um, this is a NATO rail attachment. So along the left side of the cage here, you can just slide this grip up tighten one knob, this red knob right here. And this thing is strong enough to support the whole camera system and I can hold the whole thing from that grip right here. And it just gives me extra stability when I'm going handheld. Now the cage has a built-in rail block across the bottom and I just have some rails lying around from a previous build. Um, the rails slide in super easy and you can attach more things out the back of the rig. So right now I'm using a Ninja 5, uh, so an Atomos recorder. Um, it holds everything great. Um, you could put something like a V-mount battery if you needed to mount for a really long time, whatever it is that you need to do. But what you know, the key that makes this work across the back is I have another 15 millimeter rod block with a NATO rail attached. So my Ninja 5 lives on this mount from Small Rig. Uh, it's like a friction based mount so I can tilt the monitor forward and back and it's on a NATO rail. So what this means is I can take the Ninja 5, I can put it on the top of the rig where the top handle goes, or I can leave it on the back of the rig where this new NATO rail is. Um, and this is where I like to kind of configure it. It slides on super easy. One knob tightens it, it's locked in. I can tilt it forward, I can tilt it back. This 15 millimeter rod block, I loosen two screws on the sides and then this can move closer to the camera so I can tilt it up and get it nice and snug, really, really tight. Or I can swing it way out to the back of the rails and then I have more room to tilt the monitor up or down based off of what I'm shooting. 
um, and everything. I, I like the way that this is sort of modular. It can slide in and out. I'm still getting access to the monitor, all the controls. I'm not blocking anything on the back of the camera. Um, it, it just depends on the size battery that you use in the Atomos. So I'm using, you know, a stock kind of smaller battery. Maybe I'll need to change these batteries more in this configuration, but it still gives me maximum flexibility if I'm trying to shoot something really run and gun and just capture a bunch of B-roll and I need to be handheld, I need to be nimble. So that configuration covers my general sort of B-roll and handheld setup. Next is when I'm shooting interviews. I need to be able to use proper XLR audio so the top handle isn't necessary. Top handle comes off of the NATO rail super easy. XLR unit goes in, I can use this piece from Small Rig. This is an EVF mount that is NATO rail and it's NATO clamp. So this can go on the side rail that I have here where I had the, the wooden handle before, slides right up, locks in one lock, I can move this up or down and tighten it into place. Now my monitor, I can unlock, take off of this rail on the back. So let's say I'm off to the side of the camera and I need to be able to see it. Slides right onto this rail here. And again, let me turn this so you can see it here. Again, it's just one lock, boom. And now I'm locked into place on this rail. I can tilt the monitor up or down based on my needs and I can turn it, say I'm off to the side of the camera and I need to be able to see it. I can turn it behind, I can turn it the other way. All of these things are achievable with this sort of setup here. It does become sort of side heavy when you do this. So this is gonna be best for like lockdown on a tripod. You're not gonna go run around handheld with this thing swung way out to the side like this. It needs some kind of counterweight. This is pretty uncomfortable because this monitor with this battery and everything attached when you're all plugged in can get kind of heavy and, the, and you know your shots are all going to come out sideways like this and nobody wants that now this is sort of the biggest downside to all of this is okay I want to take this camera and I want to mount it on a gimbal in my case I'm using GH5S and GH5 so the colors aren't perfectly matching and a lot of times I just want to shoot everything single camera so that it's fast turnaround I don't have to mess too much with grading in post so what I do like about this battery grip, you can see from the top here, there's this lock lever on the bottom. So just unscrewing this lever here a little bit removes the whole camera from the rig. So the, this is the GH5S outside of the rig and then here's the rig with the battery grip and the rails attached to the back. So now what I have to do is take this, put on the QR plate for the appropriate gimbal, whatever lens that I'm gonna balance, and then move my EVF mount and my monitor over to another NATO rail system on the gimbal. Uh, they make these collars, and that's what I'm using for my Ronin S is this collar. It's made by Small Rig. It's got a NATO rail on the side. Um, it attaches the EVF mount, swings the monitor out to the side, and then boom, I'm ready to go. It probably takes me an extra minute or two to get the camera out of the rig, put on a QR plate, and get everything ready to go. But the ability to take this thing on and off of this rig when I need it is really what made this system so appealing to me. Um, because a lot of other cage systems, you screw in the camera and you're locked in. Something like Zacuto, some of this, you know, the cages that are smaller that fit the body without the battery grip, you're locked into that cage and it's gonna either take you tools or extra time to get you out of that cage. So if it's not gonna fit in a gimbal or the cage is too heavy, it's gonna put you overweight with whatever lens that you're using. A lot of times that's not gonna be a problem, but for me, this makes it a lot easier to get the camera in and out of the rig and it's just a lot faster for me when I need to do some of those extra things where I don't need the camera in the cage. So that's how I set everything up when I go on paid gigs and I'm really happy with how this helps me operate the camera. I feel like I'm much faster. I feel like I'm able to get better footage because I am sturdier. Um, and it's all based off of parts that I picked up over time from Small Rig. So they do a really great job. You can get all their stuff on Amazon and all of the parts that I used in this rig will be down in the description below. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Maybe you're putting together a rig and you stumbled across this. If there's something in here that you noticed that I didn't do that maybe you're doing would help make this more efficient for me, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your experiences. Um, putting these rigs together is different for everybody to suit their needs. And there's so many different parts and configurations 
that you know when I go on and I search for different rig videos it's like I'm pulling pieces from everybody else's rigs to put together the thing that I want so um, if anybody else has any cool suggestions or ideas or really interesting rigs that they've seen I definitely want to check them out let me know and uh, thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in the next video